Once uh, I went to the VA hospital in Palo Alto and um, I got the permission uh, to uh, administer the standardized clinical scale to a gentleman who was uh, in the uh, he was just about uh, to die in, uh, well uh, it, um, I'm, I'm too tired so sometimes uh, I don't find a good word what is the is period uh, uh, which is the last phase before dying it is uh, the fatal, not fatal, but uh, there is an expression for that. You know, uh, so he got uh, a cancer and um, he suffered from uh, pain and he already got uh, a medication against pain, uh, morphine, quite uh, heavy doses of morphine, but uh, when he allowed us to administer the scale, uh, he did not get morphine at that special date uh, in order to be able to focus his attention. So when I entered uh, the room, introduced myself, I could see the sign of very, very intensive pain on his face. Uh, and um, so I introduced myself and I thanked him uh, that he allowed uh, me to, uh, to um, administer uh, the standardized scale and I told him uh, it was certainly a great help for some f uh, some of his uh, fellow patients and uh, and we all are all very grateful to him and then I began to administer the scale and um, so uh, it's a standardized scale so practically uh, I really read it verbatim and there is no special um, um, anesthesia suggestion in this uh, scale. Nevertheless, uh, this gentleman was so highly hypnotizable that uh, after uh, the, practically after the second suggestion, I saw uh, that his face became completely calm and the signs of uh, pain disappeared. Uh, um, he, he became not red actually, but um, uh, instead of uh, suffering uh, pain, and one can see the pale face of a, a sufferer, well, his face became very relaxed, and his whole body became relaxed. And uh, uh, after the hypnosis, um, uh, he was amnesic, but when I removed amnesia suggestion, post-hypnotic amnesia suggestion, he turned to me and said, uh, could you give me your hand? I didn't understand, but of course I gave him my hand. And he took my hand, he was very weak actually. He took my hand uh, to his mouth and kissed my, I, I was very young then, kissed my hand and I felt his tears on my head. And he said, Doctor, thank you for coming and bringing me peace. Now I am sure I will be able to, uh, to keep my human dignity and I will die with dignity. I will be able to die with dignity. And, you know, that was a turning point. That was a very moving, crucial moment. Even now, I become, as you can see, I become very emotional about it. It became really uh, a turning point in my life because I began to feel, I felt I could be ashamed of myself because I felt I knew something. Um, I, I really, I learned quite a lot uh, at home, different kinds of uh, hypnotic inductions. And in the States, while I was there, of course, uh, I attended all the workshops when I could. And so I learned a lot. And I used it only for research purposes. I began to feel, oh, in Hungary, there is no possibility 
uh, to induce hypnosis uh, for patients. So I decided at that moment to fight.